One week it's not enough light. The next week it's too much. Lightning struck again and again and again Saturday night at Air Force's Falcon Stadium. Number 22 ranked San Diego State was able to bottle up enough of it for a 28-24 victory over the Falcons that provided the Aztecs with their first 4-0 start in 36 years. SDSU, bidding to win as a ranked team for the first time since 1977, won a game that might best be described as a crazy thriller, scoring the decisive points when running back Rashad Penny broke free down the left sideline for a 53-yard run with 5.39 to play. The SDSU defense still needed to stop Air Force in the final minute, safety Trey Lomax coming up with a fourth down interception to put the game away. Penny, who became the 14th player in school history to go over 2,000 career rushing yards in the game, carried 20 times for 128 yards and three touchdowns. He now has 716 rushing yards on the season with seven touchdowns, nine including receiving and kick return TDs. The Mountain West opener for both teams began amid a driving rain and high winds and was interrupted by lightning with 7.56 remaining in the second quarter and Air Force leading 9-0. Attendance was announced at 27,575 during the one-hour, 28-minute delay. About 75 people were in the stands when play resumed. We responded after that delay, Penny said. I feel like these delays help us win. Last week it got us one, and this week it got us one. I think we play with a better edge. We just wanted to come out and prove to everybody that, no matter what the score is, we can hang with anyone. When we finally break free, we break free. What the six dozen people in the stands saw was our much different Aztecs team the second time around. All the SDSU scoring came after the weather delay, which created a very unusual scene for a college football game. That's one of the weirdest games I've ever been involved with, SDSU head coach Rocky Long said. First of all, with the wind blowing and it raining so hard, I've never been in weather worse than that. We didn't handle the weather very well, and Air Force was controlling the line of scrimmage. They were the tougher team, they were the more aggressive team, they were getting after us. After the delay, we decided to come out and play, I guess. SDSU gained just 18 yards of offense through the first one and a half quarters, and the Aztecs were having difficulty stopping Air Force in the monsoon-like conditions before the lightning struck. The Aztecs collected 349 yards after they returned. The SDSU defense stopped the Falcons on five straight possessions after the delay. Still, the Aztecs had to overcome a couple of self-inflicted wounds. Quarterback Christian Chapman fumbled away the ball on a sack with SDSU inside the Air Force 10-yard line to end one scoring threat. Later, SDSU had a punt-blocked punt that led to an Air Force touchdown. The lightning created the most surreal aspect of the evening, however. NCAA policy is to remove the teams from the playing field whenever lightning strikes within eight miles of the venue. Play can't resume until 30 minutes after the last strike. A severe thunderstorm forecast for an hour after kickoff arrived three minutes after it was predicted when lightning lit up the sky. Two more plays were run, the last a punt by SDSU's Brandon Heiglin. He was roughed on the play, and the Aztecs retained possession at their own 46-yard line. And both teams headed to the locker room to wait it out. Said Long, they kept coming in, well, there's another lightning strike, that's 30 more minutes. There's another lightning strike, that's 30 more minutes. We actually didn't know if we were going to play or not. By this time, virtually the only people left in the stands were a couple thousand cadets who were probably on orders to stay. A huge majority of fans had headed for the exits before the first quarter concluded. Outside the stadium, red tail lights visible from eight long lines of cars leaving the parking lot. No one was going anywhere in the traffic jam, but at least they were safe. Local knowledge. They knew severe weather was on the way, and they weren't going to wait around two hours for conditions to improve. When the lights went out at the San Diego Jack Murphy Stadium last week, SDSU was driving for a potential go-ahead score against Stanford.
Play resumed after a 22-minute delay, and the Aztecs scored the touchdown that provided a 2017 victory over Stanford. The lightning delay Saturday night couldn't have come at a better time for the Aztecs. Pouring rain began an hour before kickoff and continued through the first quarter, flooding the middle of the field. It made footing tentative at best. Penny was slipping, negating his speed advantage against the Falcons. It was frustrating, but then again you can't show your emotions, he said.